This is Twit. As Jason alluded to, we're excited to have some new hardware to talk about, specifically from our friends over at Xiaomi. And listen, between the two, I'm shocked we're starting with this, but I'll take it because Xiaomi finally has a foldable. I, I, I can't believe it. The Mi Mix Fold is upon us. This is the new era for Xiaomi. Um, if, uh, so the, the Mi Mix Fold folds inward like a book, similar to the Z Fold series and the Mate X2. Uh, the inside of it uh, is a 8.01 inch four by four, uh, four, four three aspect ratio OLED. Outs and the outside is a 6.52 inch 90 hertz display. Um, it's got four Harman Kardon speakers for 3D panoramic sound. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's running on a Snapdragon 888. Uh, with 12 and 16 giga, giga RAM options and 256 and 512 gigabyte storage as well. Um, it's got a, a nice fat 5020, uh, 5020 milliamp battery, um, 67 watt fast charge, uh, zero to 100 percent in 37 minutes, which is crazy. Nice. Um, the, the camera uses liquid lens technology which is the first of its kind in a smartphone. And I can't wait to hear what Flo thinks of this because basically it, uh, that means it handles macro and telephoto shots thanks to a layer of liquid and switching the electrical voltage oh. through that liquid. So in other words, a single lens could theoretically combine all the functions of multiple lenses on other phones, which is- That's so cool. I love that. Matters. Um, it also it also includes a, a 108 megapixel main and 13 megapixel ultra wide cameras, and the prices start at nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine yuan, uh, which is around one thousand five hundred twenty one dollars, uh, and you can get it in China. So, first off, foldable. Second off, liquid lens. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Xiaomi brought it. What do you guys think? You brought know, it. it makes me think of um, I don't know why the Crap! What's it called? Overkill. Uh, uh, noodles. <laughs> the thing that you use to make sure uh, cowboy hats. Um, no, the thing you use to make sure oh. the shelf is on the level. The level leveler. <laughs> level the level yes, with, the, with, the, with, the, mystery, with the mystery green liquid in the bubble, right? Yes, That's I'm just reality. thinking of the liquid and how it yeah. would move around to create the difference between a macro uh, and a wide angle lens. I mean, it, it makes sense when you think about it theoretically, like how that would work. But obviously I want to see this in practice and I want to see, I want to see if we have the kind of distortion that uh, Jason saw in his wide angle photos last week with the one plus nine pro. Mm, That's what I'm yeah. curious about. What do the edges yeah. look like with these things? I'm curious how close you can get. Oh, this is, see, you, you got me You're going. Got me going. Burke, I'm I'm putting in uh, the in the doc under the Verge article. I put in a link for Engadget, and if you scroll down about halfway, it has a little bit of an animation that kind of shows okay. uh, a, a little bit how this works in a in a promo okay. kind of video sort of way. At least, so at least there's some sort of visual some to kind of put into it, some context. Yeah. But it's a cool idea, and this isn't the first time that this has happened. Like this is this is technology that exists outside of the smartphone world, from my understanding, anyways. Uh, this is just the first time that it's entering into an actual smartphone device. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think I think it's interesting that we're like we've seen in, in our ten years doing this show, we've seen phones go from a single camera lens that absolutely sucks. To multiples to the point to where, you know, oh, I don't have the the note in front of me where like the Note Ultra is like a giant bar uh, full of cameras just to do all the things. And now, like, are we entering a phase where in the next two to three years, more cameras are done like this because it allows for a single module, a single camera lens to do everything that you need? And does it do it well enough? I'm really curious to see. Yeah. Listen, I'm going to be like a contest. You sound, like a, you sound skeptical, like a, Flo. I'm going to run. Go ahead. Finish your thought. I was going to say it looks like a contact lens. Yeah, it kind of does look like it. Yeah. Does. All right, Flo, yeah. Flo. So what do you think? You're skeptical. I imagine skeptical. it works like a contact lens. No, I'm not skeptical. And you're, you guys are going to be – Ron is going to roll his eyes so hard when I tell him that all I've been thinking about looking at this animation on the Engadget article – is uh, the music video for the O-Town single, Liquid Dreams. Mm. 
Uh, that's I don't even. Awesome. I can't even make fun of you because I don't even know what that is. I know. Is. I know. I heard words kills, and I didn't get and I don't got no it, meaning of any of them. It kills <laughs> me that this is not the audience that is going to get what I'm trying to say. So I'm just going to put it out there, hoping one person gets the reference. Uh, uh, All right. Worry, I, I got you covered, Flo. Don't play this with music, Burke, but it's right next to that link. There's the video that Flo <laughs> is talking about. And skip about a third of the way through. And I think I understand what you mean. Um, although I'm amazed that like you had that right at the, at the like at the ready. It's just a lot of liquid stuff in this video. I just I want to appreciate, by the way, that there's a couple <laughs> folks in the chat room speaking up. So thank you. You made me not oh feel goodness. alone. I mean, oh come goodness. on, <laughs> uh, you guys. I need to find an outlet for this. Oh, I, I really no. do because. I love that you're you're our Bursting access point me. to to I, just, uh, I, I, I gotta find an outlet for early it. 2000s boy bands. It's great. I know it's 